Getting promoted in IT isn't just about writing clean code or closing JIRA tickets faster than your Jenkins pipeline can fail. If you think promotions are handed out purely based on merit, you're in for a corporate reality check. Because in tech, doing your job well isn't enough. You're expected to do your job well. That's the baseline. You get paid to be competent. But if you want to climb the ladder, you have to go above the job you were hired to do. The unspoken rule is, you don't get promoted for doing your current job, you get promoted for already doing the next one. Oh, and before we start the video, I got some good news for you code heads. I made a Discord server where we can all hang out, share memes, and help each other. So hurry up, join using the link in the description or by scanning this QR code. Alright, back to the video. So how do you act like a senior before anyone gives you the title? Start with the most underappreciated skill in engineering. Communication. No, not good morning in the team Slack channel. Real communication. Can you explain a technical decision to a non-technical stakeholder? Can you write a project update that doesn't sound like a stack overflow error? Can you give feedback and code reviews that actually helps instead of just nit rename this variable? These are the skills that scream leadership, and leadership gets you noticed. Next, think bigger than your assigned tasks. Are you just completing tickets? Or are you spotting patterns and suggesting broader improvements? Maybe you notice that three teams are solving the same problem in three different ways. A junior dev shrugs and moves on. A senior flags it, proposes a reusable solution, and gets buy-in. Promotions favor people who see across systems, not just inside their own ticket backlog. Then there's the mentoring part. Helping others isn't just nice. It's literally management's favorite metric for deciding who's ready for more responsibility. If you can lift others up, document things clearly, support new hires, and unblock teammates, that's the kind of behavior that makes your name come up in calibration meetings, especially if you can do it without sounding like a condescending stack exchange reply. Uh, but here's the frustrating part. None of that guarantees anything. Promotions in tech aren't just about performance. They're about timing, headcount, team politics, and whether your manager can justify it in this quarter's promotion budget. That's why some of the best engineers stay stuck while others jump ship and come back with a shiny new title and a 30% raise. Because when you switch companies, you're not bound by your current level. You're judged by what you can do, not what you've already been boxed into. That's also why visibility matters. You could be solving high-impact problems every day, but if no one above you knows about it, you're invisible. No one hears a word. So speak up in sprint demos, lead postmortems, volunteer to present in engineering all hands, make sure people associate your name with outcomes, not just commits. At the end of the day, the most consistent pattern among people who get promoted quickly is ownership. Not, I'll take that ticket, but I'll own this problem end-to-end -end and make sure it's solved. Ownership means you don't wait for someone to tell you what's wrong, you identify problems, propose solutions, and rally people around fixing them. And when you operate that way long enough, the company basically has no choice but to promote you or risk you taking that initiative somewhere else. But let's be real. Coding skills are still a deciding factor on whether you are in for a promotion next quarter. This is why you need to always keep them sharp, and that's where today's sponsor comes in, Code Crafters. Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check. Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git. All while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.